Hello. And welcome back to GTA and I guess welcome to the newly released Gold Rush 3.0 server. Uh, this actually just came up, I think again, an hour or two hours ago. We're finally going to be checking it out. And yes, we're finally going to be getting back into GTA RP. It's been, I think, over almost a year and a half now, and I have been absolutely dying to play some GTA RP again. So we're finally going to get right back into it. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for some more GTA content, and I'm finally happy to give you some. So first of all, we're going to create the good old Zez Kobali. For almost messing up the name. Uh, let's make a nice date of birth for him. And we'll make him about 23. There we go. Um, for nationality, we're just going to do mix because uh, good old Zez Kobali is quite a bit of a mix. And we should be good to go. Here we go. Loading on in. Uh, we're going to start probably at Pink Cage, but... As I know, uh, we are going to be most likely on the character creation for quite, quite a while. So let's hop in. I'll show you guys a little bit of the character creation. And then, of course, uh, we'll go create our character. So let's uh, start it off. Um, I'm going to fix some of the visual stuff. Don't worry. Just haven't played GTA in a bit. So my visuals are a bit off. But uh, good old character creation looks pretty straightforward. All the sliders seem pretty good, pretty fluid. Let's just check appearance like the hairstyles. Oh, you are able to scroll, but it doesn't work too well different hairstyles so we're able to go through them the top here i believe we're able to see the different camera angles perfect and you turn that around a little bit which we do from here there we go all right and then of course we can check out the body as well and then down to the shoes if we really want to so uh what i'm gonna probably do for the next long time i'm not sure how long it's gonna take to do this but we are going to do it and we're going to create our character, the good old Zizkabali. Again, this might take an hour or two, but we'll get him looking good and then we'll get right into Gold Rush RP 3.0, checking everything out. And of course, I plan to grind a lot today, so hopefully we're going to get a lot of progress right here in the first episode. Without further ado, though, I'm going to start working on my character and I'll see you guys in quite a little bit. And we are done. Actually, didn't take as long as I thought it would. Uh, we spent quite a lot of time on him. Of course, we got the signature mask, the signature jacket. Uh, of course, some nice cargo pants that we've always had. And, of course, we couldn't miss the good old cowboy shoes that everyone somewhat hates, somewhat loves. But we have finally finished our character. So we're going to go in here, hit save. And we should hit yes. And we should be good to go. Of course, our mask. Take that off got our full nice face again spent quite a bit of time on it. it looks pretty much super accurate towards old zez so we're gonna oh wait we gotta put that on actually oh okay this is actually pretty cool already so i think if we put this on four put that up oh okay 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 starting off in our apartment i'm guessing we have probably some storage somewhere okay so we can change our outfit over there um i'm guessing we do have some storage though we're gonna look around see if we can find it oh that's how to leave Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, so over here near these boxes, we have our storage. Obviously, nothing in there at the moment. Uh, we have a cell phone and ID card and our driver's license. Let's actually take out the cell phone. Take a quick look at that, as, of course, that's going to be a big thing on pretty much any server. So we have that on number two. We should just be able to hit, uh, is it P or two? Again, haven't been on the server or on it. Oh, there it is, M. Okay, M is the default key. If you are new to joining the server, figuring that out as well with me. So far, the phone looks freaking real sweet. Um, we go into details. Okay, so we start off with 2,000 in our bank, 500 in our cash. Uh, we go back to home. We have our contacts here. We have, of course, the usual phone. Fortunately, we have no contacts. Looking a little sad. We got the messages app. We have a little ping, so we can send pings out to the other players. Got the good old mail. We got advertisements for yellow pages. Quite nice as well. Uh, we have good old Twitter. Definitely nice to see. Seems this one also has pictures, which is perfect. You can also click on it to make it bigger. Definitely a feature that I look for in the Twitter app. Uh, we have our vehicles. Of course, we have none. Debt. Apparently, we can go into debt. That's probably not something we want to do. We have Wenmo to send money over, I'm guessing. We have documents where I'm guessing we can add documents here. Um, test, test, submit created a new document we can look over maybe other documents not exactly sure how this works we might actually have to have a picture here i'm guessing or something like that but definitely cool uh keep going we have housing which we just have of course one house we can transfer it to other players or of course show the keys okay we have crypto 
Okay, so there's a couple different kinds of crypto. Definitely interesting to see. We got globe coin, dragon coin, ghost coin, and digi coin. Probably used for something um, related to illegal activities. We'll have to see. We have DRG League. No idea what this is. The leaderboard. Oh, so this is for racing, I'm guessing. Yeah, this was supposed like to be the racing app. We have employment. Okay, nothing. Obviously, we're not employed. Uh, we have a grouping system, which is really cool. I'm guessing this is how we actually do draw jobs with other players in a group, which is perfect. Excited for that. LSBN. No idea what that's for. Uh, taxi service. Okay, we got a couple people as well on taxi. We got a calculator gallery where we can store pictures i'm guessing invoices if we get invoiced for let's say a mechanic shop something like that we have the camera we have discord definitely interesting oh we're able to actually make different things here and of course we have milk road i'm guessing that's going to be a silk road similar thing definitely definitely cool now let's head out of the apartment and check it out and here we are at the good old pink cage let's quickly take a look at our map actually wrong thing wrong game hit m take a look at our map there's quite a couple things around to do uh now today what i primarily want to do is kind of get ourselves off started i feel like a lot of the times when we start off with a new gta series we really don't do enough of the beginning grind and i definitely want to do that today which of course most of that will be off camera but i definitely want to get that going so starting off i think what we want to do is find ourselves a kind of beginner job i'm going to look through kind of everything on the map and then let me find something we can test out all right so there is a lot of different jobs um and i actually haven't seen this on any server a gardener job so i think we're gonna head over there test that out for a little bit so um i guess we gotta kind of find again we didn't really start with anything besides our cell phone we gotta find a way to get over there uh we could call a taxi but we're gonna try and save as much money as we can right at the beginning uh again i don't have any visual mods besides this weird sky and don't worry i will be getting nve and getting all set up for that so don't worry about that but we're gonna try and head on over to that little gardening area and i'll meet you guys once we're over there and we are over here at the gardening job. I have no idea how this works. Okay, E to become a gardener and G to quit the job. Let's hit E. Become a gardener. A customer is waiting for your location was sent to your GPS. Now, the only issue is we don't exactly have a car to go do this with. Uh, so I'm going to look around. Is there actually a rental center? Let me see real fast. All right, so it doesn't seem like there's actually a rental spot, um, which is definitely something that they probably should add to the server. In my opinion, again, the server did just release a couple hours ago, so stuff's going to have to get figured out. But a rental spot is really helpful for new players. Um, and I looked through and I didn't see any. I could be blind, but I unfortunately didn't see any of them. So I guess, I mean, I don't think we can just grab a car like this, right? Yeah, no. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, we could try and find like a car or something to try and hotwire. I think that might be our best bet, although we don't want to start off our life of crime uh, immediately. I mean, we obviously are going to be very criminal. I have a lot of plans for this character. Um, obviously, Zez is a little bit more malleable. We can kind of just, you know, go along and see what happens. We might end up joining the gang. We might end up making a gang. I guess we'll uh, have to see. But I'm just going to keep running for a little bit. Oh, actually, there is a car over there. Again, I'm not sure if we want to immediately steal that. I'd rather steal a bike just so if we do get cops on us, we are able to just easily evade them. Let me look around for a little bit, see what I can find. All right, so we found a car. Now, question is, is it unlocked? No, and yeah, no way to get in. There is a car behind it though, which I'd rather not take a minivan as my stolen car. Yep, here we go. Bad idea. Bad idea. Yeah, let's actually not do that. I think the minivan's not going to be good. If we do get caught or cop on us, there's no way we're losing him in the minivan. I also did just talk to the owner of the server, and there is going to be a rental spot by the time you're probably seeing this video. So definitely already making some improvements from the first day. It's definitely nice to see. Definitely nice to hear as well that they are fast with it as well. But uh, either way, I'm going to keep running to this gardening job and see you guys again when we get there. Or actually, let me see if maybe we can try and lockpick or hotwire one of these cars. Yeah, bad luck, unfortunately. And they are going to be adding that rental very soon. I also do want to head over to the car dealership, see what a nice beginner car would be for us, just to be able to get around. But uh, we're almost there, actually. I've been running over there for quite a while. So we're just going to run up a little bit more, and I'll meet you guys when we're starting off the gardening job. And I believe we're finally over here at the gardening job. Let's head on over 
and so start working stop working or get paid so start working oh my gosh did we just go around and do this oh wait no there's actual little spots that we have to go to okay so i'm guessing we have to kind of do oh okay okay this is actually really cool and then the next one we're just mowing the whole lawn for him mow it on up there we go perfect let's do the rest of these real fast This should be our last little circle. I'm curious what's going to have us do after if it's just going to reset. All right. You finished all tasks. Go back to the landlord and get paid. All right. So we're going to run on over here. And we should be able to just go over to him and hit H to get paid. There we go. And we got 75 bucks. Okay. I didn't think that was going to pay out much. That was a pretty freaking easy job. And you could definitely run it back a couple times. Definitely a low payout. Um, speaking of the low payout, um, we have really no concept of money yet on the server. And I think the best way to figure out how money works on the server, and I guess that as a whole, is probably to head on over to PDM, which I'm guessing is located in the usual spot right on over there. So we're going to make quite the run all the way to PDM. It's going to take a little bit, but we'll be able to get there. Server is also restarting in just a little bit. So uh, I'll probably see you guys after the restart. Once we've ran our way all the way over to PDM and are checking out the cars and getting an idea of the economy and guess how everything works. After that, um, we are going to go check out probably the general store as well. Just to see the items in there as I like to do with any server. And then probably the gun store. Just make sure we can't buy guns without a license. See how that works as well. And then after that, we're just going to be doing quite a bit of jobs for the rest of the episode. Trying to try a couple of them out. And of course, if we want to grind a little bit of them, try and make ourselves some good starting cash. Either way, I'll see you guys after the restart happens when we're over at PDM checking out the prices of some of the cars and of course learning a little bit more about the economy and we are over at pdm i'm gonna check out some of the prices again this is like the first couple hours of the server releasing so of course all these prices are subject to change for sure and let's try and check out this the rhapsody okay okay so the vehicle prices are supposed to be a little bit more realistic on the server as well so 3300 for that sounds like exactly what i think Alrighty, just wanted to quickly cut in here. Um, I actually was dumb and I didn't realize that you can actually switch out all the cars. So I ended up switching them out. As you can see here, you're able to switch to different cars. If I wanted to go over to the compacts, select the Rhapsody or whatever car I want, I can then click on it, see the car, obviously. And from there, of course, I can swap it to anything else if I want to check out the price and of course, check out what the car looks like. Just completely messed this up. Didn't see this at all. Completely blind. Just wanted to add it in there. Uh, also, all these prices are, of course, as I just said, going to be most likely changed or at least i'm thinking a lot of them are going to be changed just wanted to put that out there real fast uh, that the system for pdm i actually really like it but just wanted to show you guys how it works what about a panto okay around the same price exactly what i was thinking for a nice starter car let's check out a truck also see how much this might go for okay fourteen thousand. so okay the bison fourteen thousand. not a bad price bison amazing vehicle by the way great work one as well Ooh, nice shafter v12 how much does this go for or felon gt sorry there's one under this for sixteen thousand. okay around there makes sense for like a nice mid-level car definitely interesting so the prices seem to be pretty realistic uh, which i'm excited for i don't think this one's been changed over yet yes this one has to be rechanged i believe for us to be able to see the price on it but overall pretty good prices it seems like again the economy is supposed to be a little bit more realistic so you know 75 dollars that we earned from the earlier job is actually worth something now that we know uh, again that car is only 3300 so pretty damn good price and again that was our starter car on eclipse so we might actually end up getting that for our starter we'll have to see though uh, but either way i did want to show you guys a couple other things first of all i want to head on over to this repo job and talk also a little bit about the jobs on the server so let's quickly head on over there right across the street and talk a little bit more more about the jobs in general on the server all right so coming up here first of all let's check out this repo job uh and something i want to mention before we go into this is it seems like the server actually has quite a lot of unique jobs again we checked out that gardener job earlier and there's also a couple other ones up here i believe there's a hunting job pretty normal though pretty normal though but there is also i believe a couple other things they have farming they have a farming job center um another really cool job i thought i saw if i can find it real quick is a builder job as well no idea what this is um there's also a little thing down here 
here called a treasure hunter not sure if that's a job or what um i believe there is also diving because i've seen these couple diving areas which are really cool as well and if we keep looking around there's also the normal ones like recycling center there's deliveries there's trucking uh there's of course the normal delivery job all the way up here i believe nope up and adam i believe there's another delivery job somewhere around here furniture moving another one i'm not sure if it's actually for houses or an actual job not too sure about that um there's actually quite a lot more if we keep looking around a little bit more as well there's mining of course another cool job that's on a lot of servers but still pretty cool to see as well there's sanitation as well uh and again there's a lot of different jobs on the server and a bunch of them that look pretty unique and again you don't really see too many unique uh like starter jobs on a lot of servers so it is interesting to see a couple different ones for sure but uh we're gonna check this out real quick and if we talk to him the repo job oh okay so there is there is an xp system for this um I love I love anything to do with XP systems. It gives you something to work towards, something to work on, and it seems like we're able to get a new repo job for a $700 deposit. Um, we only have I think $575 on us at the moment, so we're probably not going to do that. But it's definitely cool to keep in mind, and I'm guessing we'd probably want a car to be able to get around uh, to be able to actually do the job itself. But the next thing we are going to be checking out to go with that is actually something to do with the criminal jobs on the server. If we hit home, we're able to see all the different jobs, and if there's enough cops on online for them now uh the server did just restart so obviously there's not gonna be enough cops online for most of these things but as we see and as i'll list off there's quite a couple of them we have boosting weed runs drug boats huey blue runs no idea what that is though suspicious deliveries store heists bank trucks vangelicos flicas Blaine County, Pacific Bank, the Union Depository, the Yacht Heist, an Artifact Heist, which I have no idea what that's about, Bobcat Security, the Oil Rig Heist, the Luxury Car Heist, which I definitely want to do. That sounds very interesting. A Train Heist also sounds really cool. A Van Heist and a Humane Lab. So it seems there's a ton of different criminal stuff. And oh, we got a guy just, you know, walking on behind us. Don't worry about it. And I'm excited to get more into the criminal portion. Again, I got a couple ideas for Zez, although I like him being more of a malleable character and kind of just going with the flow and seeing what happens naturally through rp but with that and since we're done kind of going over those criminal jobs the next big thing to check out is actually two different things and the first one is going to be heading over to the general store and checking some of the different items we're able to buy there um i like to check that on almost any new server as that's where you're going to find obviously a wide range of different items available for you as a starting player we also might check out i believe if the u tool is still here yes there is still a u tool over there so we'll go check out the hardware store as well we will also then check out most likely one of the gun stores see how that works hopefully hopefully it asks for our license we're not able to just buy guns but either way we'll see how that all works let's uh start off heading over to this general store and checking it out all right so heading into the general store we're gonna open up the shop take a little look we're able to get water cola some ham sandwiches donuts a little zippo that one actually looks quite fancy uh black russian cigarettes oh, we have definitely some uh some experience with the black russian tobacco co so definitely cool to see some coffee just a bunch of other random stuff obviously a cell phone some bandages rolling papers nothing too crazy though i think a lot of the other items are most likely going to be over at utool so let's quickly run on over there and check that out as well again our skies are a little a little weird i think we have some weird reshade mods um but i'm gonna be hopefully fixing out all the mods within the next day or two to make our game look a lot better for you guys so make sure to look out for that but let's head on over to utool and check that out as well and over at the good old hardware store let's see what they got for sale so open up the hardware store oh my there's quite a bit um so there is a queen bee um i did see that you're actually able to go buy beehives and go start like little hives and be able to obviously sell and i think breed bees or something along those lines to get honey something around there um which is really cool and there's a wow there's a lot in here okay okay so we got a toolkit um okay mark for tools for place seizure i'm guessing this is a lock pick we're actually going to probably buy two of those just so we have them there we go 58 bucks not too much uh jerry cans some fireworks different kinds of fireworks actually a trowel small hand garden shower microfiber rag some soap some duct tape beehives and then we have a bunch of these different crates which i'm not sure what they are for maybe it's for your house or maybe you're just able to place these out in kind of anywhere you want and maybe use them that way i'm not too sure um either way we have an apartment right now so we can't really upgrade it too much but definitely cool to see different crates here that we're able to buy in i'm guessing place uh we have a fridge empty bags um some camping chairs an outfit bag oh wow that's cool so i'm guessing of this you're able to actually switch your different outfits which is really cool 
um a container lock so what i'm guessing is maybe you can buy one of these containers put it somewhere in the world and then lock it up that'd be really really cool and then maybe people are able to break into them with the toolkits so not, not not too sure though um art crate jewel crate just a bunch of different storage containers in here as well uh pruning shears trimming scissors spray paint obviously fine scale i'm guessing what that's used for we got some repair kits uh, solo cups which are definitely great uh spray paint remover okay ziplocs insecticides for marijuana okay so we got something we can grow that which is nice shovel for digging commercial sign oh wow this is cool so we can put some signs up somewhere if we want to start a store there's actually a skateboard and i think what we're gonna do is buy one of those because we need some way to get around so let's see if we're able to use the skateboard and what exactly happens okay are we able to use it now let's see get on oh oh yeah oh yeah we are going we can even do a little woo. okay okay this is looking cool so we're able to get around on this for i guess a little bit actually the physics for it is actually pretty cool as well pretty cool okay okay this is actually pretty sweet so we're going around on a little skateboard here um and what i think we're gonna do now that we have at least some way of transportation is most likely head somewhere to try and start working on a job again we still have a ton to explore but i do want to make sure we're doing a little bit of productivity this time uh when starting off on the new server because we really haven't in the past so let's take a look and see what there is to do um again there's a garbage job right here and we could honestly do that for a little bit i believe that also should should give us materials um but i don't think we need those at the moment let's go look around and see if we can find a job we want to do okay so i was looking around and probably one of the best ones to start off with is one of the delivery services so we have roadrunner deliveries and then if we go up here i believe i saw just a deliverer job so i think we're gonna go do that well, actually which one's closer to us yeah we'll go check out this one first although we might need like a certain license or something for that which would suck but it is near us and on the way over we can check out what this little guy is this little uh what is it treasure i think it was like a treasure treasure hunter we can go see what that is as well on the way over and then hopefully growing out a little bit of a job either way though i'm gonna skate my way down there and i'll see you guys once we're there and i believe we should be over that's the treasure hunter we can figure out how to get off this thing one eternity later oh there we go okay who's g I was trying to figure out how to get off it took me a second uh is either one of these people it or is it behind here it's right on over here so let's see if it might be a local or no it does not look like it's a local it looks like it's just as a door uh to start slash finish work Okay, so select close. Potential sell a boss set it to 100%. I have no idea. Select close one or two. And then. Oh, it's a one or two. Okay, so our basic stuff or diving, it looks like. Um, very interesting. And then I'm guessing we're able to add people to the team and then change how much each person gets paid out. Okay, loot lovers, hunter lobby. All right, definitely interesting. We're not going to try that out today. But we might try it out in the future just because i'm not sure if uh changing our outfits the best idea right now as i'm not too sure if i have saved this one yet whoops I'm not using the right thing but i think now that we've checked that out we're gonna head on over to of course that uh delivery job and hopefully have some good luck over there i'll meet you guys once we've arrived all right we're over at the delivery job took a while to get here it seems we just hit e start or finish work okay so this is like the lobby we have we'll just keep our normal clothes and we should just be able to hit start job and there we go okay so tutorial okay there's a little tutorial the job involves delivering packages to homes if you're working as a in a team one person drives the car to a designated place while the other person takes the package from the trunk and goes to deliver the package to the house on the other hand if you work alone you have to do the both tasks yourself okay okay so let's hit close tutorial and let's get on with the first area so seems like we gotta go down here um we can actually look at the back bottom right and we can see delivered parcels right above our uh, vehicle info so let's go start delivering these we're gonna go to our first area and i guess i'll see you guys there as we're doing this all right we're at our first house so i'm guessing we gotta deliver it right down here so let's back on in hopefully this gate opens perfect and we should be able to just get out and deliver these parcels real fast. So let's get on out. I think we have to go to the back of the truck. Grab the parcel. Oh, wow. Cool animation. Definitely a cool little animation for it. And we should just be able to deliver it. I'm guessing not to. I'm guessing just to the doorstep. Here we go. 
deliver the parcel do a little knock on the door and oh wait is someone gonna come out oh wow so, okay someone actually comes out okay that's actually pretty cool give him the package and there we go all right there we go one parcel delivered and i'm guessing we just keep getting more and more and then eventually we can just head back and grab our money let's do a couple more of these and see what happens all right we're gonna do another one actually quite close by again pretty cool animation so far i think if we actually do the animation at the right spot here as well right at the door obviously it'll look a lot better there we go wait for them to come out once again and on the package here you go sir and there we go perfect all right so it's two packages delivered and i think it'll just keep giving us new ones um and then i guess when we want to grab our money we just go back so i'm gonna run quite a couple of these until we ever get a different message or we see something else or we just want to go back and see how much money we make either way though let's go run a bunch of these and i'll see you guys very shortly and yeah, we're back we ended up doing six parcel deliveries so we're gonna see if we're able to end the job now or how this works e to end working okay 300 bucks honestly not that bad of pay okay that wasn't honestly too much time we got paid a decent amount honestly just a little bit more of that and we'd honestly be able to afford a car so uh not not bad at all um but i think that's gonna be about it for now uh just just out a couple jobs now my plan right now for the rest of today um is to probably just go off camera and i'm gonna grind a bunch of the different jobs out check a bunch of the different jobs out as well explore a little bit and then in the next video i'll have a little bit of a better idea of what i want to show you guys what i want to of course explore on the server a little bit more as well uh if i find anything interesting i'm just gonna leave it until uh, i'm ready for the next day and we're gonna record go through all of it in a video have a great time uh, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the new GTA series. I've been wanting to do another one for a while and I'm glad a server finally came out that I wanted to join and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. I'm definitely enjoying banging back on GTA. Just seeing, you know, Zez in his amazing form is great to see again, but and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. But I think that's going to be about it for this video. We uh, just kind of went over kind of most of the basic stuff and showed it off to you a little bit, tested out some of the jobs. Oh, there's someone else doing the job as well. And of course, just explain a little bit more about the server now. I'm gonna hopefully be playing a lot more on it so make sure to hit that sub button if you do want to see whenever i upload a new video but i do think that's gonna be about it as always make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video